Hello and welcome back to Tenor with a T. I'm in Canada. Oh, Canada, terre de nos aïeux. I'm in Australia. Australians, oh, let us rejoice, for we are young and free. Yep, I've left Germany, and after many months of packing, throwing things out, several cancelled flights and a detour via Canada, I'm finally living here in Melbourne, Australia. Hopefully in the next few months, now that I have a bed, a couch and some storage, I'll be able to finish some of the videos I started scripting last year. One thing I had to do on arrival was go through everything that I had stored when I left Australia. I decided to donate many of my old books, including scores I was never going to sing. Some of these, however, gave me pause. Several scores that I saved from the now closed Melbourne Conservatorium of Music were from operas that I'd never heard of. I suddenly thought, are these the last copies of these operas? Is this music going to disappear without being performed again? I thought of all the operas of world premieres I was lucky to see live, or studied as a music student. They won't be revived anytime soon. In Australia at least, the scores of these operas which are not in the public domain are at least being preserved in the Australian Music Centre. However, only academics can access them. As for the older scores, this one, for example, lay in the University Library, unsung and unloved, next to the well-worn Mozart operas, waiting to eventually be thrown out or sold at a sale. In the end, I decided to take these books out of the donation pile, and I justify this by saying, well, if I sing this on this YouTube channel, at least I'm breathing some life into some music that would otherwise be lost. Um, I have a couple of scores that I saved, which I'll explore in later videos, but the first one is this. Jeannie Deans by Scottish Romantic Composer Hamish McCon. The score is not on IMSLP, and the only recording available are excerpts. The opera tells the story of two sisters, Jeannie and Effie Deans. Effie has had a baby, who has mysteriously vanished, and she refuses to say what she has done with the child. She insists that the child's father has done nothing wrong. However, she is denounced by her father and taken away to prison. Go, go, the hearth and home that once held thee so dear. Shall know thee nevermore. Take back the curse. Her lover and wanted criminal appears to Jeannie. He claims Effie's innocence and plans with Jeannie to rescue her by disguising himself and sneaking into the jail. This is a duet from Act 2, when George sneaks into the prison under cover of a riot and sees Effie again for the first time. Oh Effie darling love, that I should meet thee thus, and know my crime the cause of all thy woe, not even hell hath torches half so keen, dear Geordie hush, now thou hast come, this gloomy prison house is like a palace.
in some distant land the sun shall shine with a fadeless splendor. Thou and I, my Effie, thou and I, oh darling, think of it, ourselves, our world, and all around us be. Stands beneath a hill where runs a tiny babbling rill, and there, oh Effie, the lark soars high above the lea, the salt wind bloweth from the sea. Myself, my dearest girl, for there's much to do. Thank you very much for watching my first episode of Forgotten Operas. If you like this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel so you'll be notified of future videos. Have a great day or night, and see you next time.